Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sayyid Usam Aziz. Welcome back to another class of Cobot. Today I am very excited because in today's video we are going to make our first robot in this course and that is called the edge detection robot. So let's see how it works. Okay, so for the edge detection robot, we want this robot to be intelligent enough to detect the edge of the table. So as soon as it reaches this boundary, it should stop and it should not fall. And after detecting the boundary, we want it to go backwards or at least change its direction and start moving. So, and again, if there is another edge nearby, then it should be able to detect that as well. It goes back and again changes direction. So that is pretty much the working of the edge detection robot. Similarly, you can see that boundary I have drawn on the floor. And if we put this robot inside the boundary, it should not go outside of that because every time there is an edge, it should be able to detect it and again change its direction. So let's see if we are able to program it with, the, with this functionality or not. So before we start, I want to comment about some changes that I've made to the circuit. This is now the sensor shield that is located on top of Arduino Uno. This sensor shield basically have separate grounds and 5 volt pins for every signal pin of the Arduino. So this allows a very easy interface to connect sensors on top of this sensor shield. Okay, so two sensors have been mounted at the front end of the robot and in order to calibrate these we are going to write a code on our PC. We will be reading the values of these two sensors and printing them onto the serial monitor of the Arduino IDE so that we can see what kind of values we are getting out of it. Okay, so I have written the test code over here and let me just quickly explain it. So in the first two lines, we have declared our two sensors. Then we have initialized some uh, variables to store the values that we read from these sensors. Uh, in the setup function, we are just uh, starting our serial communication at the baud rate of 9600. This is very common, very easy to understand. Then in the loop function, uh, here in these two lines, we are reading the values of these sensors as we have connected them at pin number 3 and 2 of the Arduino Uno. And we are storing those values in the left and right value variables. So the left sensor value is being stored in the left value variable and the right sensor value is being stored in the right value variable. And we are going to print them using the print functions pretty easy so let's upload this code and let's see how it works so in order to calibrate this sensor there is a potentiometer on top of it you can move it clockwise or anti-clockwise to increase or decrease the sensitivity of this sensor and now you can see that when I move it towards the white surface the LED lights up which means that it has detected it and when I move it outside the boundary it turns off which means that again it has detected it so now let's move on to the code and program it for the application. Okay, so we have our algorithm ready, which is going to be the brain of this robot. So let me quickly explain this code. We have our declaration pins about motors as well as the sensors. Then in the setup function, we have declared motor pins as an output and sensor pins as an input because we are going to be reading data from the sensors. In the loop section, we have we are using digital read command to read to read the values from both sensors. And if in this if statement is basically checking whether the values are one or zero, because this IR sensor gives us either one value or zero value depending upon the surface it is on. So here one means that it has detected the edge or it is outside the boundary of the surface. It has detected the boundary or the limit or the edge. So whenever we have done that, 
either left value or the right value that is where you can see that here this is the or operator not the and operator so if any of the sensor has detected an edge we need to immediately stop the motors then there are necessary delays we move backwards then again stop the motors then there is another nested if else now this if else basically further checks if the left value is one or the right value is one so if the left value is one then we make the turn right and if the right value is one we make the robot turn left and these uh, functions that are making motors move forward backwards stopping them or making them turn i have declared them at the bottom of the co code here so in this algorithm if statement is checking the edge and if there is no edge then we will move on to the else part and in else section the robot will continue to move forward so it needs not to stop unless or until there is left value gives us when or the right sensor gives us the value of one so that is the code now let's move on to the demo and let's see how it works Okay, so that is the end of the video. I hope you learned a lot from this and it is a humble request that if you are enjoying this video series, then please make sure to press the like button, also subscribe this channel and turn on the notification bell as well so that you stay alerted whenever we post a new video. And in the upcoming videos, we're going to post some new projects as well. As I've told you earlier, there will be a line following robot, there will be an obstacle avoidance robot and an advanced version of the obstacle avoidance robot. So if you want to learn all about that stay tuned let's meet into the future videos till then assalamu alaikum